Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. And we're starting a new series today. Uh, this is a game called Foundation. Uh, I'm sure many people have heard of it and I imagine many people have played it. Um, it's a city building game and it's very uh, well, it's very good for a start. Um, it's It's been in um, sort of early access release now for getting on for two years I think um, it's definitely been over a year maybe a year and a half maybe even longer I don't know time flies um, I've been playing it since day one I was one of the, the very early access members um, and I absolutely love it I haven't played it for a little while because I've been playing a lot of Planet Zoo recently uh, but this game has so much potential. It's it's already my favourite city building game ever, which is saying something when I go way back with city building games, right back to the days of um, the early Settlers games, the original Sim City, um, things like that. So, yeah, I've, I've played a lot. And I, I love this because it's so um, open and free with how you, how you build. Um, so let's get on. Um, you know, I don't want to bore you. Let's crack on. Now I do use some mods um, in here because I've I've played the game properly as such, uh, where you actually have to you know slowly open up your land and, and all that sort of th stuff, and that's fine, and that's fun. But for for the the sake of this series, I think um, I just want to um, build the best looking city I can. And so I'm not going to be too worried about um, trying to be, uh, you know, play it properly. So I've got mods. For example, I have a mod that gives me all the land for free. So you don't have to worry about opening up. It gives you the freedom at the start of the game because um, you are quite limited at the start having to squash everything together, which is no fun. When you're looking long term in, a, in, uh, in this game, you, you need to plan your city quite way in advance. Um, so it's very handy at the start of the game to be able to build in more area than just um, the first hexagon that you unlock. Um, so for the sake of this, um, I'm going to do that. I've unlocked some more land. I always also use mods so that certain things generate more. So for example, you get more berries each pick from the berries. Uh, you get more yields of things like the corn, um, or wheat, um, bread clothes stuff like that um it's, it's uh, that's not why i'm going to be playing it if if that's not your thing fine you don't have to watch um but uh, basically i will be uh going more for the look of the city of course it's going to be functional i'm going to make sure everything works and i'm going to um i'm going to play this seriously as i can i just don't want to have to worry too much about resources um so let's get cracking uh where do i want my village center i think i'm going to go over here i've also got a lot of mods um which allow um extra trading um things like that as well i've got a lot of mods that give me a lot of nice extra decorations which is the most important thing um at the moment because obviously to get um to get your city looking as good as it can you really need all these mods to um oh, i've got to remember how to turn things it's been it's been a while since i played this here we go um yeah so you really want to um have lots of flowers and all the little items that you you put around that really help to um to brighten up uh, the city and make it make it fuller make it look nicer uh, so you'll see what I mean as I go along. So first I'm just going to get some of these basic buildings getting built uh, first to kick us off. Um, it's going to be confusing because I've been playing Planet Zoo for a while and in, in, in that game you, you use the right mouse button uh, for different things to use in this. And this one, if you click the right, ma right mouse button, it cancels whatever you've got. Um, so I am going to keep clicking the wrong thing, unfortunately, but never mind, we'll get there. Okay, so I've assigned a couple of builders. Uh, I'm going to speed it up. I usually play it at double speed. So what do we need? We need a lumber camp. We need a stone cutter over here. Uh, let's get you in there. We need a gathering hut on our berries. 
Uh, let's make the stone cutter a priority because stone you run out of very quickly at the start of the game so you really need to crack on and get that done. Now where am I going to have some housing? Uh, I like the idea of housing over in this area here so let's get the well right up in here and then I can have the housing around it. Uh, do we need to do a bit of zoning? Yes we do, let's have a look. Um, I forget how to increase the size. Uh, oh yes, you hold down control. Yes, I'm having to reteach myself <laughs> how to play it. It's been it's probably been um, it's probably been about three or four months I think since I played this, um, which in gaming terms is quite a while for this sort of game because you uh, when you when you zip in and out of a game. Um, you, you can very quickly forget the, the small things like the little extra button controls and that kind of stuff. So a bit of residential up there. Let's get some reforesting going in here as well. Now they've made some good changes recently to this. For example, you never used to be able to put residential down right at the start of the game. You also didn't used to be able to do reforestation this early. So it's much, much better now that you can. Um, because it means that you can just plan your um, your town a little bit better from the start. Uh, now what have we got built? Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, let's get rid of all of that. Right, what have we got? Uh, I need a lumber. Let's just get one lumber guy for now. Actually, no, let's get two lumber guys for now. my stone yes great stone get me get me as many stone cutters as possible you need to gather stone really quickly in this game um, because you need a lot of it right at the start what else haven't I built a granary so granary logically would go near the berries but actually what I like to do is build the granary near the marketplace so that your market people don't have to travel you can afford to have your granary people traveling because there'll be six of them assigned to the granary. Uh, whereas you've only got one market person per market. So I will have the granary over here. And I also need to do a marketplace. All right, now the marketplace is, let me remember where I've got these pieces. I have, do, 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 I think it's in here. There's a really nice uh, piece that I like to use for the markets. Uh, yeah, this one here. So I like to just plonk one of these down. Maybe get one of them on top, make it look nice. And then what I like to do is get the market. And I get the market right in here. Think it looks really nice and then you get i put another market there and another market back here so you get sort of every other entrance way has a market in it and i think that works quite nicely uh, let's... right i need to assign one of these so i will lose one miner and i will get a forager over there uh, one of my mods also allows things like granaries to hold more and warehouses as well because the 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 capacity of these things was just too low quite frankly so I think instead of a hundred per slot they can now hold a thousand per slot and the same with the warehouses just because you don't want to have to fill up your whole map with warehouses and granaries it, it was a bit ridiculous before um, oh I haven't assigned any extraction over here oh look I haven't done the stone either that shows you how long it's been since I've played I keep forgetting the basics Okay, there we go, much better. You're probably watching this and screaming at me, you haven't assigned anything for the stone cutters. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's all coming flooding back to me. Uh, what's left? Right, okay. So what else have I got? Let's have a look. Um, I think that's all the buildings. Oh no, I'm going to need a sawmill. So let's get a sawmill going. Sawmill can come down here. 
and then I'll have a warehouse down here as well. So you go over there. And uh, what do I need? Yeah, so we need planks to open up our first trade route. So that's fine. Um, warehouse is in there when you get newcomers. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Wonderful. Okay, so what I like to do, so when it comes to the decorating, uh, for example, this builder's hut here, I have, what do I have? I have this nature set. I think this is the one anyway. Yeah, so this gives me some nice rock formations. Um, so what I like to do is just play around a little bit with these. Just sprinkle a few around. Maybe get a, get a big one in there. And I, I just I just like these, you know, getting all this detail in. Uh, and then you've got these wonderful plants. These things look fantastic. So you get these ferns, you see. Oh, no, hang on, what do I hold down to do multiples? Shift, okay, wonderful. You see, so you just plonk these bits around. It just, it just makes everything look much, much nicer. Get some of these little tufts of grass in here as well. Let's get one in the middle there, get one here. Do, do, do. Maybe a couple of little ones. I oh, know that was the little one, sorry, my mistake. Let's get a couple of these big ones at the back here. Maybe one more over here. Do I want any trees? Yeah, I get a tree back here. There we go. Boom, and there we go. You see, it's such a it's such a simple thing, um, but it just adds a lot of character to a building. It really uh, really sets it off. And and as you expand, you do that around all your buildings. Um, you've got lots of different decorations. So, for example, the warehouse. Actually, let me just get someone in my warehouse. Uh, well, sorry, granary. Sorry, not a warehouse. Let's get it going with some berries in there. Um, you see, so what I will do here, I have a fantasy set somewhere, fantasy decorations. And somewhere in here, so you get things like these, these little, little wagon wheels, you see, and they just look nice. You just have one leaning up against the post, and it just adds a bit of character. Uh, now, I like things like this around granaries and warehouses because it makes it look like, um, you know, something's being delivered. You just get some crates on there. We get a stack of barrels back here. Uh, you, know, you have to be careful not to block the entrances on some of these buildings. Um, but uh, it's not too hard. Uh, no, let's not go with that. Let's go with some barrels at the front here. And there we are, nice open barrel there with uh, some berries in it. Let's get another one of them over here. Get a couple of little barrels. Yeah, I've got some nice crates. Uh, let's go with a little pile of crates at the back here. Great, that looks good to me. Then you go in with your nature decorations and you do much the same. So again, I'll just get a few of these ferns put around. Maybe some rocks. Let's have a look, what have I got? Looks good when you put stuff together. So a rock with a fern next to it looks nice. Keeping it nice and natural, not too planned. Um, you know, looking like the rocks and, and the ferns were here and then the building was built around them. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's okay. Looks used, you know. Looks busy. Looks uh, looks functional. Yeah, like that. Uh, right. What have we got going on? Oh, it's on a market trend. Uh, uh, tender. Sorry. Yes. 
Uh, what can I afford to lose? I'm going to lose. I I'm going to lose a woodcutter for now, and get a market tender in here. Let's get people fed. Our little dudes, they need to eat. Uh, so what have we got? We've got our well, our market, builder's hut, granary. Uh, we don't have... Oh yes, because we need planks to build the forester camp. So hopefully our sawmill is now going. And I don't have any people for that either. So I'm going to have to lose... I'm going to lose a builder for now. And get someone in the sawmill. Start making some planks. And then we can build our forester hut. Which will then repopulate the trees here. Uh, what have we got over here? Our stone cutters going and our berry picker is going. Nice. And people will hopefully start to buy. Uh, let's have a look at the market. Yes, 50 berries, two sold. Wonderful. People are eating. That's what we like to see. Do you know what? I might just put a, a few flowers down. I think around here I think I've got some pretty flowers yeah I like these little yellow ones get a few of these around the market brighten the place up a bit see this is what I like um, I like that you can you can just do these little details in this game just brightens the place up makes everything look a lot more um, real life as real life as a medieval town can be anyway um, so my plan long term I think um, residential I really like the residential up on this hill I've I played this map many times and what I like to have I like to have most of the residential towards the back here up on the hills and then all the industry down around the river um, I don't know why I just think the I think this map looks really nice uh, just the fact that it's it's hilly but not too hilly you can start building up the hills onto these flat areas um, I, um, I will point out things that I don't like in the game for example that is as, as far zoomed out as you can go um, that's no good I don't like that at all I need to be able to zoom out and see more of the map now, the only way you can do it is by sort of tricking the camera like this and going up on the hills and then you can keep zooming out and you can see the whole thing but then as soon as you move forwards it does that it zooms back in again and, you, and then you can't zoom out so I, I don't know why that's a thing and I don't know why they haven't changed it uh, but it's really frustrating I like the the other camera controls I like that you can zoom right in like this and uh, see your little people and I like that it actually goes a bit out of focus as well quite uh, I quite like that little touch that's uh, that's pretty clever um, yeah Right now I'm going to have to build a Lord Manor at some point, aren't I? I think that's probably the next thing. Uh, where is my manor house? Oh Lord Manor, I can't do it. Oh, I haven't got enough newcomers yet. Okay, that's not a problem and I can't do church yet either. So I need people. Oh, that's fine. Let me, uh, let me just do a little bit more decorating then while I can. Uh, I quite like doing a um, some big boulders around these these rock places to try and you know try and expand the look of the rock because you don't get a lot of rock sometimes and I quite like to just emphasize the fact that this area is full of stone that needs to be mined pretty simple I mean this is a mod this particular one with the rocks um, which is another great thing about the game is that they've allowed people to create all these new items to use in the game uh, it, it just adds so much more and it's great because it brings the whole sort of gaming community together with people uh, creating stuff that other people can then come in and use uh, let's get some of these ferns in these things are just awesome. You just plonk them down, nice and random. Don't put too much thought into it. Keep pushing the wrong buttons, because I'm an idiot. 
Let's get some of these grasses. Let's get a few of these nice big ones in. And yeah, do you know what? I fancy uh, having a having a log back here somewhere for some reason. Just, just like that. You know, those little little touches just makes everything look a little bit more like it belongs there. Nice. There we go. Nice and simple. We don't need to do too much. Just makes everything kind of blend together a little bit better. What have we got? Oh, we've got ten newcomers now. Oh, uh, ooh, yes, we must have. Yes, Lord Manor is now available. Brilliant. That's what we like. So I need to build a Lord Manor. I've still got. What have I got now? Oh, I've got two new people. Okay. Who needs some people? I need a forester. And what resources do I need? Probably a. Uh, let's get a. No, yeah. Let's go for stone. No. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do a stone cutter. My next person, I think, will be a wood cutter. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Um, okay, now my Lord Manor. I think I'm going to build right up on the hill here. I think I'll start it on this corner. So I'll start it nice and simple. To start with these things, you you just need to do a really basic Lord Manor at the start, and then you can start expanding it and making it more. Oh, excuse me, making it more impressive. Um, but for now, let's just get a basic manor in. I like to have a couple of little towers on either side. There we go. That's all that needs. Um, and something I've learnt, because um, when you build like that, all these trees stay and you don't always want them. So what I do, I use this fantasy decoration. And if you plonk these carts down, it can uh, you can use them to delete trees. So if I delete enough so that you can actually see the manor house, and then you build that, and then you just go back into it and delete it, and you've removed your trees. There we go, much nicer. Now I can see my manor house. Okay. Oh, I've got, got a warning already, that's not Good. What have I got a warning about? No tree choice. Oh yes, my bad. Oh dear. See, this is what happens when you don't play a game for a while. You completely forget what you're doing. Uh, what do I want him to plant? Let's just stick with some sycamore. I'm actually not too sure about the difference with these. I I know obviously in real life I know the difference between these trees, but I don't know if it actually makes a difference in the game other than the look. I don't know if some of them grow faster. Whether that some of them actually. Uh, produce more wood or anything like that. I think that would be a good thing in the game if that isn't the case. Uh, for example, pine trees are generally pretty fast growing, uh, whereas oaks obviously are very slow. So I would, it would, it would be really cool if they if they grew slower oaks, but then maybe produced more wood once they were harvestable. Whereas pines maybe grow the fastest but produce less wood. I don't know. Um, that might already be a thing in the game, but it's not something that I've ever read about or noticed. Um, as far as I know, it is just about what you want it to look like. Um, so, yeah, don't know. But I'm fine with that. It is uh, it is what it is. Um, the animations that they've, they've put in the game now are brilliant. There's, there's a lot of detail. Every patch they release, they put all these extra details in. Um, I mean, I was playing it back in the days when... Um, these these guys looked awful. They, I mean, they looked freaky. Their eyes were just weird. Um they they looked very very bad let's just say um the stuff of nightmares uh, whereas now they look really cool um i believe they blink now as well because when they first redid the faces uh, there was a time when they didn't have the the people blinking and that was very strange uh, a bit like the ewoks in star wars not blinking very odd um but although with the ewoks in star wars as soon as they started blinking we all thought that was odd as well but anyway um uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to talk about blinking Ewoks today, but never mind, you know, that's where these conversations go. Um, yeah, so where am I up to? What have I got? I've got my Lord Manor being built uh, or not. 
Oh, I don't have builders, do I? That's the problem, yeah. I need more builders. Let me lose a miner. I've got some decent stone there now. Let me get another builder going. Um, now, these builders' huts are a very good idea. However, there, there is still a real problem in this game. When you get later on in the game and your, your city is more zoomed out uh, or more, more spread out, the resource... Um, the resources and the builders have to travel too far. So for example, here I've already started building here and I have a builder assigned there. Now, if they are building anywhere on this screen that you can see like this, you're probably okay and they can go get the resources and they can walk there and they can build. However, later on in the game, when I've got a building going right up on this hill over here somewhere, I don't want a builder from here going up there to build it because it just takes way too long for them to walk all the way up there. If I have a builder's hut up there, I want those builders to be the ones doing the building. But certainly the last time I played, that wasn't the case. You you couldn't control where the, the builders came from. And so late in the game, the game almost becomes unplayable because you just wait so long for the most basic things to get built. So I'm hoping that's changed or does change um, before I get to that stage again with this city we shall have to wait and see oh, I've got another bot who have I got Soliana Soliana let's go with that uh, what do I need oh I need a woodcutter that's what I need there we go let's get a second woodcutter going my forester is replanting that's good let's just check my zones is that big enough yes that's gonna be fine now can I get a warehouse yet Ah uh, yes, unlock the warehouse and I will unlock the bailiff office as well. Right, now I can build a warehouse and start storing some stuff. So let's get that going. Uh, let's go down here. What am I going to store in here? Wood and stone. So yeah, let's go down on the coast here somewhere. Um, let's not disturb the trees. Let's go. Let's go there. Oh, got some housing being built. That's nice. All right. Now, what I like to do with the housing, um, as you can see, the desirability is average, and it will be for most of these. And if you want them to um, increase in capacity and density level, that sort of thing, then you need them to have a higher desirability. And the easiest way to do that is with this fantasy decorations pack. And you go down to the bushes and it is as simple as you just get a few of these bushes I mean the, I use these bushes anyway because they just look cool uh, but all you need is just a few of those around like that and suddenly your desirability is very high so that's exactly what I do around all of the houses it really is very simple but it looks good and it gets the job done so you know I'll mix the colors up a bit maybe get some yellow ones over here there we go that's all it needs just a few around each house just makes it look nice they really have done a, a wonderful job with this game it's um, it's very simple but because of the way it's been designed there's so much flexibility in it uh, I think it's it's one of those games as as it grows I think it would just be, become even more and more replayable the more things they add into the game and obviously the more and more people that make mods as well will help tremendously with that uh, oh got more people good all right so my lord manor is my next thing promote people and unlock a trade route okay what have I got? Two more people. Nice. Where do I need my people? I should probably get another builder and another woodcutter, I think. Let's go with that. Yeah, my trees are getting low already because I'm turning them all into logs. Uh, but that's fine. I need 20 logs, I believe, to unlock a trade route. Yeah, so 20, sorry, 20 planks. To unlock trade route so uh, nearly there and then I can get some tools so you can't make tools until much later in the game 
Um, so for now you have to buy in your tools. Uh, you also sell stuff. That's the easiest way to make money early on in the, in the game. Once you open your first trade route, you can sell berries, I believe. Yeah, selling berries. Uh, I tend to not sell much else. Uh, trade is another part of the game which doesn't work. It's it's a nice idea and it needs to be a, a nice idea in the game. But I find that it's completely unnecessary because once you get going in the game, it's it's so easy to make money anyway. You don't need to trade. Here we go, unlock trade route. Um, and I will sell all of my berries because I'm, I make so many berries. Um, now obviously, like I say, because I'm playing with the mods, um, it is easier because I produce a lot more berries than normal. So I can afford uh, to just sell more. But even when I was playing without mods, it, it's so easy to make money that you don't need to sell stuff, which is a shame. I think what they need to do is make it so you don't only get gold from selling stuff. Maybe um, you you get sort of reputations with the other towns and then you unlock new um, achievements that, that give you extra items, new buildings, new decorations. I don't know something there needs to be a reason why you would produce resources to trade rather than keeping them for yourselves um, the other part of the whole money money side of the game that I don't like is the capacity here because you get to the stage where you make so much money but you can't store it and when you the only way to store it is to build more Lord manors and you end up just having to build huge buildings, huge towers. The towers are the, the best uh, for gold capacity. But you end up just building huge numbers of towers everywhere just to store more gold. When really it's, I mean, it's it's, it's unnecessary because you don't need lots of gold. Um, but when you're producing lots of gold and it's going to waste because you can't store it, that to me is not good gameplay. It just doesn't feel right. So they, they need, I think there needs to be something done with that. Uh, right, what do I need? I need a warehouse guy. So I'm going to lose Albold. Can stop being a builder. Yeah, he can come and work in the warehouse. I want him to take in wood and planks and uh, stone. Where's stone? There's stone and tools. And then I will go into the trading resources and I will buy some tools. So buy and don't need many tools. What I've got at the moment, 10. So let's just go with 20. That's all you need early on in the game. Ooh, okay. oh, we're making a good start here, I think. So yeah, I, how long have I been playing? I want to keep these videos quite short, um, mainly because you know watching someone else playing a game, you don't want to be watching me for hours at a time. So I'm going to keep them short and sweet, um, so you can kind of dip in and out of them. So it means if you miss an episode, you, you're not going to miss too much. Hopefully, you're not going to be able to not pick up where you left off. Um, so let's just leave it there. So I made a good start. So my Lord Manor is just being built up here. That's the main thing next. Uh, then it'll be general expansion and producing. Uh, oh no, I need a church. So it'll be a church next. So I'll, I'll do something impressive with a church, I reckon. And then after that, I will have to move on and start producing some clothes. Um, so that will maybe happen in the next episode. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you like what I'm doing with this uh, this recording style, actually recording and commentating while I play. Uh, let me know if you like what I do with my decorations. Uh, if you've got any ideas or suggestions, uh, please do share them with me. And uh, together, hopefully we can get on and, and build a really nice city. Uh, so let's call it a day there um, and I will be back with another episode pretty soon, I hope. So thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you soon. Bye for now.